Hey all and welcome back for another round of Hellfire Commons Patreon TV Comms. Today we're going to be checking out more idle shit, thanks to our artist Kara. Oh god bless you Kara. Let's see, what's on the docket today? Uh, well it's the Idol Master, which if you'll allow me to scroll over to Wikipedia, is a 2011 anime series based on the popular Raising Sim and Rhythm Game franchise of the same name by Namco Bandai Games on the arcade and 360. It was produced by A1 and so on and so forth. It's actually based on the Idol Master 2 I believe. Um, yeah, I haven't really seen anything about this series. We actually have three distinct iterations of this franchise here. Uh, we're going to be watching, and this is the order for what we're watching, by the way. The Idol Master, Episode 1. Idol Master, Xenoglossia, Episode 1. And then Idol Master, Live For You, OVA. So, load up uh, Episode 1 of The Idol Master. And, uh, Neo, are you ready for some idol shit? I am ready for, uh, I believe the term for this show is uh, Not Love Live. Yeah, true, very true. And Volk and I did watch Love Live in its entirety, and I didn't have too bad of a time. I quite enjoyed it, actually. So if this is anything like that, energy-wise, we should be good to go. Here we go, guys. If you need help syncing, check the video description. There's all kinds of useful information there, including unique metadata for the videos we're watching. Here we go, episode one of The Idol Master. In three, two... One. Idol. They are to what girls will eternally aspire. Wow. I really like that this is starting like vampire shows where they decide to just give you a glossary. <laughs> What is a vampire? Well, you see, the Japanese industry picks up little girls, molds them into <laughs> specific caricatures, and then spits them out when they're too old. Idol. A teenage girl who sings pop songs. <laughs> Idol master. Nice. A teenage girl who sings pop songs on a master level. So this is actually um, produced by the same company uh, who make Fairy Tale, I believe. Your favorite show. Oh, yeah. I, re I remember that show. <laughs> All right, so we got Haruka so far. That's Haruka. Okay. CGI train, because of course... Yeah. It always interested me. I don't know uh, the fact, the idea that uh, CGI, I guess, saves budget. It, it, when I first learned that, it seemed kind of counterintuitive to me, because mm -hmm. I always figured, eh, isn't CG kind of like expensive? But then uh, then you realize that actually, anima regular animation, that's a fucking process. Oh, has. yeah. Yeah. That's why I never really like bitch at animators for being lazy for the most part, because animation is hard. I don't know if you guys know this. Yeah, if CG, especially in anime, because uh, they, uh, they do a lot uh, with, uh, you know, more complex drawings uh, at the expense of, you know, sort of uh, less animation overall. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, they're going to supplement that with CG a lot more than a... Uh, cartoon as we traditionally animate it in the Westwood. Well, I mean, if they were giving you screen time and you're not into idol shit, it's kind of a waste of time in an idol series. <laughs> How much is 212 yet? I need to see this. It's not a lot. Alright, 212 yen is £1.48p. I'm not putting it in dollars. You could go find it out for yourself if you want. I, I mean, it's probably like two some dollars. A yen's roughly equivalent to a cent. Mm hmm. Yeah, one dollar ninety three. I'm sorry, I was being mean there. Oh, there's yeah. a little bit of fourth wall breaking here. I hadn't noticed until now. Oh, it's the Isle of Master. Yeah. Okay, we're getting Why more Why is routine in quotes? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I like to describe my everyday life. I don't like that. I don't want anything in quotes makes me very suspicious. This is N Tom's job. <laughs> I'm sitting. Hmm. The humor of this so far puts me in mind of Zombieland saga, and I'm very glad we're getting a second season of that. Ah oh, man, I'm looking so I'm so looking forward to that. Mm. Mm. I love Zombieland saga. Hmm, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, this feels um much more well comedic and energetic than Love Life so far because that actually went on its own pace, which I appreciated it for. Yeah, I, I, I kind of got have this image of like shows like this being very like slow paced, trying to go for that sort of cozy atmosphere, mm-hmm. which. I mean, I, I could see the value in that. <laughs> oh, I'm trying I'm, to get I'm some screen very, time. I'm not a very slice of life guy. That's fine, man. I mean, when we're covering everything people want to like watch as cover and whatnot, there's going to be some things that don't appeal to you. It's just how it works. I mean, you know, this, this could appeal to me. It's more that I just don't go out of my way to watch slice of life stuff. Okay, Ami and Mami, uh, Haruka, and person at the start. Wow. I already want to drop ludicrous amounts of money to get a high-quality JPEG of these two. Okay, well, first of all, be careful with um, your mouth noises. Second of all, you disgust me. <laughs> Hibiki, Naka. I'm not going to learn any of these characters' names in the space of one episode. I hope you realize, Car. I'm just going to color code them. Yeah, Buddy Girl, um, Shantae, and the twins. <laughs> that's a reach with Shantae. Yeah. That's, a, that's Look, a hell of a reach. I went with the bangles, okay? My mind was reaching. This is a very dark reboot of Hamtaro, where he dies in the first episode. Trying to coax the rodent pet out of a hiding spot is a classic of any comedy show. Hmm. When they did it in Community, that was the that was the best episode, actually. Now, now you're just throwing names at me. I'm not even getting a chance to read the subtitles. <laughs> I will take my way to freedom. That's actually good life advice. You really can't dig a hole in a boiler room. Mm. I learned that the hard way. And you can't dig your way out of a terrible recording session either. Just something for all you commentators out there. That's that's actually very true. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm aware of that. I've also learned that the hard way. <laughs> Look, all right. Just because I give you a few tips here and there does not mean you're a bad commentator. I know, I just gotta stop trying to solve everything with a shovel. Yeah. Oh, is that why it's like this? Okay, that makes sense now. Mm. Nico, Nico, D. Oh, sorry, wrong show. Mm. Never say that again. I will not. I don't think he understands idol talk. Oh, he's going. See, now in Community, they solved this by uh, singing somewhere out there. Hmm. It's a very good scene, actually. Hmm. I-, I know what show you're talking about. I just haven't seen any episodes. Yeah. It's a fun show. I- Chick- I- I'd recommend it. Chick on the left looks almost identical to a character in Love Live. Uh, I mean, th- this is... This girl, I think, is in a lot of shows. Mm-hmm. Chihaya. Hey, Chihaya. I know Chihaya, actually, I just realized. Oh, There's, okay. I have a friend who's real into Chihaya. Well, there's always one best girl in there that people glom onto, I suppose. Yeah. He plays fighting games and has Chihaya on his fight stick. I'm just going to ignore that. Okay, I think I've seen this girl before. If it's good, I will believe it. Yes, I too like <laughs> things that uh, benefit me in the long run. I also pick and choose my fortunes. I'm mm-hmm. not feeling like an Aquarius today. <laughs> I read the newspaper, I didn't like it. Yeah, I'm going to go for a shift change. Mm, Sagittarius, Pisces. I think today I'm a Leo, because they said the Leo has good fortune today. Ah, uh, yes indeed. Oh boy. 
we're getting into antics within the first how deep are we? Eight minutes here. Hmm. You ate hamster food? Hmm. Oh, it's the lazy punk one. I like this one. Yep, she's done. I actually snuck in a cheeky one hour nap before we started recording. Hmm. I've never heard that children who go to sleep grow. Well, that's how it works for cats, because it releases a hormone. Hmm. Will you bitches please shut the fuck up? You're never going to be the idol master at this rate. Occupation. Let's play it. And it just crosses out the word <laughs> occupation. <laughs> <laughs> Pictured. Not my schedule, I can tell you that much. It's like, wake up, spend about five or six hours doing fuck all, two hour recording session done. I do vocal training. Really? Uh, I mean, you know, I get in the shower and it's just like, Time to bust out the songs. Okay. Yes, adorable. All right, next thing. I also do dancing training. Oh, okay. I mean, I practiced how to do the fusion dance when I was a kid, but Dragon Ball was all the rage then. My dancing training is mostly me attempting... By, by, basically, I, I just constantly attempt and fail to try and do something resembling a moonwalk. Because someone once challenged me to do it in high school, and I couldn't do it, and I've been trying to do it ever since. Well, all right, then. Oh, that won't do for an idol. You need to get up in their grill, but still say no, no. You may look, but you may not purchase. I just want to be famous. Do you? I just want the clout. Do you? <laughs> My god, she has instant translocation. <laughs> I like how it's like low in volume and whatnot. You do need to seek... That is the best way to cure introversion, is to seek fame and fortune. Mm -hmm. If I may offer a, a little tip, Neo, just move your mic slightly away from your mouth. Ah, fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's been done. On the fly tuning and whatnot. That's what HFC gets you in these TV comms. That's right. It's now an inch away. Nice. You're fairly loud anyway. I, I boost you up, but you're loud by nature anyway, so that's fine. That's just my American side coming through. Mm -hmm. You know what? If you got something to say, you should say it loud. Yeah. Commit. I, I appreciate that line of thought, and I agree. Nothing pisses me off more than someone who hems and haws when it comes to commentary. And God bless Richie, he's an asset to this group, and I love him dearly as a friend. But sometimes he's just, hmm, and uh, hmm, and ah, uh, and I'm like, get to the fucking point! Yeah, don't deliberate. Just say what comes to your mind. You know, maybe you'll say something horribly offensive and you'll get everyone around you cancelled, but that's just how life is. That's how I feel about Flame on a daily basis. Uh, he is a liability. He I'll is. I'll give you that. I, I I don't know what benefits he brings, but I'm, I'm gonna like karate chop him the second he says something problematic that I can't cover up. <laughs> is the whole show gonna be like done through this TV interview perspective? Because that's kind of interesting. Is this the Office anime? Yeah. <laughs> Looks towards camera, and does face. <laughs> Obviously, I grew up with um, the UK office, the genuine article, so... Ah, uh, yeah. You know, eventually Ricky Gervais is going to have to accept that the American one was better. Oh, I don't know about that. It's called hentai, and it's art. 
<laughs> okay, dear, okay. I think that was an Office outtake. I, I might be thinking of another show in that sense. I'm pretty sure it was The Office, though. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard that I could hear it in my mind, Palace. <laughs> it's just ingrained in your cult. Like, you can... It's mostly... The fun thing about that is mostly in the form of an image macro. But you, even if you've never seen the show, you can hear the man's voice. Powerful. Powerful. Very. Good at dance. Loves animals. Aquarius. I thought I said manga at the end, though. I would like a crocodile. Oh, she's a vampire. Yeah? Well, I mean, we discussed this right at the beginning. They gave us the thing for vampire and everything. <laughs> there you go. There is a reason this opened <laughs> like, like Van Helsing. Van Helsing was on TV. Uh, the other month, and uh, I forgot how cheesy it was, but goddamn if it ain't entertaining. Oh, the movie? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a, that's a hell of a movie. That That's it, that's a movie that has the year it was made and written all over it. Oh, very much so. Right? It's made by the dude who did The Mummy, and you can tell. Yeah. Funnily enough, one of the most accurate depictions of Frankenstein's monster is a character. Sorry, what? Sorry, I, I kind of got lost in the void for a second, though. One of the most accurate depictions of Frankenstein's monster as a character yeah. is in Van Helsing. Yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. Sorry, I completely spaced. Is this one of the characters' mums or something? Uh... I I don't know. I can't tell these people apart. <laughs> they need to wear name tags or something. Yeah. The bunny is my stand. I think that might have been Shahaya, or it might have just been someone else with blue hair. I think she's the only one with blue hair. I'm interviewing a TV screen. I might have seen memes involving this character as well. Hmm. His name is Bunny San. Get it right. How the fuck does that be sounding like a donut, you dumb pigtail wearing bimbo? <laughs> that is. Yeah, I don't get how that follows. Are they all toddlers or something? <laughs> oh no. Then it revealed she was poor and I was being classist. We've all contracted Moe. Kind of like a Benjamin Button thing, Moe. <laughs> like the older you get, the younger you look. Yeah. Yes, people don't like depression. They actively exactly. shun people who are depressed in society. <laughs> See, slowly over time, these TV cons are just you're just gonna turn into the Joker at some point. <laughs> How about another TV con, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of those. <laughs> Can I have a good commentary? You get what you fucking deserve. Uh Hell Dragon and I are actually going to watch Joker soon, so that should be fun. What do you get when you cross a YouTuber with a society <laughs> that doesn't consider it a real job? Ugh. Nothing, really. Nothing happens of consequence. Hmm. Hmm. Homework does suck, I agree. So I only caught the gist of what they were saying there, so I put my own meaning to it. It's probably what it was. I mean, it feels like the kind of show you could watch on mute and just kind of understand. Um, this type of show is not something I would recommend you describing as watching on mute, okay? Uh, I mean, quite literally you could because there are subtitles, but... <laughs> I get what you mean. <laughs> 
Now, don't forget, we got to watch the ED as well. Yeah, we that, certainly do. That being said, there was no OP, was there? Yeah, I, I think this was a... This might be one of those shows that has so many main characters that they had to spend the entire first episode introducing them. Yeah. A question. Hmm... Are you, are you describing mashed potato? Look at the camera at least, come on. An idol to me is something you take off an altar and then a giant boulder rolls in to kill <laughs> you. You motherfucker. <laughs> uh, got there before I did. Oh, so Chaco from My Hero. The voice actress? No. No, I mean, just the the job and what she wants to do and whatnot. Oh, okay. Yeah. thought a Chaka wanted to be a superhero. Well, yeah, so she could earn money and support her family. Oh, I think that's what most jobs do. Yeah, but, like, she was all embarrassed about it, because, like, oh, it's a super basic bitch to d- thing to do, and everyone was like, no, that's actually perfectly reasonable. <laughs> uh, I, too, am embarrassed to earn money. Hmm. You can't think of anything else that might be indicative of an obsessive personality disorder. Ooh, uh, I'm not sure if we should apply these things without knowing the people intimately, do you? <laughs> it is a good way to troll, though, I'll give you that. Okay, I, did I slip into a Kingdom Hearts intro or something? <laughs> I want to line the pieces <laughs> up, yours and mine. <laughs> I was going to say, are we not getting one song in this? Uh, you can tell this has a budget behind it, because this isn't in CG. Yeah, oh. Man, Love Live suffered from that, I can tell you what. <laughs> woo, yes. If your anime song doesn't have woo in it, fucking throw it in the trash. See, the first time Zombieland Saga had them turn CG, I thought it was a joke, but then I kind of realized, oh, okay, this is just budget. Yeah, I thought it was like a subversion or something. Yeah. Oh, well. Although it is nice that they didn't have it turn CG for the rap battle. Yeah. Oh, man, there's a lot of great songs in Zombieland Saga. Oh, yeah. Uh, Saki's song is really good. Remind me? Uh, that's, uh, the one where they're going, woo woo, all the time, and they're fucking, <laughs> have, uh, the, uh, punk outfits on. Oh, right, yeah, that reminded me of a song from Owen, Dan, actually. I forget the name of it, but there's a similar, like, rhythm. I don't know what Owen Dan is. Oh, it's the, um, the, the touch based DS rhythm game. Oh, okay. Well, it's got a catchy tune to it. Mm. Those are a lot of characters. <laughs> sure are, mate. Why is this fucking Power Rangers um, Q Ranger or something? <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say Super Sentai. Fuck, ruined. Well, there you go. Cred destroyed. We're just back up in this one. Cool. And there's oh, one, one more. <laughs> God's sake. Didn't have enough, huh? Ridley makes the big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please let it be the guy from Zombieland. <laughs> He's wonderful. <laughs> He's Riku's voice actor, by the way. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I'll be honest, I'm a pleb. I watched the dub. Hmm. There he is. So who's filming this exactly? And that's how he died. <laughs> Just being moed to death. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, that's the voice of an audience stand-in. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it now. I, I will... wonder if his hair covers his eyes. <laughs> I will soon. No, he looks like fucking <laughs> Joe from Digimon. All right. I don't know why they're rebooting Adventure. I really don't. Should reboot Adventure 02 is what you should do. Just saying. Oh, that's the next time thing, so we're done here. So, ep episode 1 of the Idol Master, mate. While we load up uh, episode 1 of Idol Master Xenoglossia, what was your take on that? Uh, seems cute. Uh, yeah. I, I question... Having the entire first episode be nothing but character introductions. Um, I, f I felt it was necessary for such a, a large cast, and I didn't feel bored, so they at least kept the energy up. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so yeah, not bad out of ten. Uh, next up is episode one of Xenoglossia. Here we go. In three, two, one. All right, I have no idea what to expect here because I hadn't even heard of this before Kara commissioned it. Xenoglossia does sound like an RPG. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's see what uh, the wiki says here. A 26 episode anime by Sunrise, so this isn't by A1. Uh, aired between April 4th and September 24th, 2007. Uh, do, 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 do. Xenoglossia is a term taken from Greek for using a language that is completely unknown to the user. I hope they're going to sing in English. That would be a little bit jarring. Oh yeah, the art style changes in apparent already. That's weird. Or maybe that just means they're not going to sub this for us. Oh, that would be strange. That would be very Xenoglossia. <laughs> I don't understand Japanese, actually. Fun fact. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the cool morning breeze. Oh, sorry. This is more of a traditional sort of series, I take it. Ah, uh, so this is the traditional starry-eyed newcomer. Yep, and then she gets gotcha. hit by a truck. <laughs> Grandpa, I've been drafted. What, oh, was that like a... A legendary artifacts that she was looking at? 2007. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. A penguin comes to... Okay. Out of all the titles for the episode, I can honestly say that was not something I was expecting. Penguins in anime have a good track record. I'm yeah. looking forward to this. Very much so, mate. Very much so. Uh, let's see. What did Sunrise work on exactly? Uh, do -do 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 -do. pretty sure they're the Gundam guys. Yeah, Gundam Seed... Uh, Code Geese. Geass. Oh, they also did Big O, which we are actually recording next in this session. Ah, the 10 out of 10 masterpiece. I love Big O. Um, I'll save that. <laughs> okay, can you not? <laughs> no, I'm just ignoring you, really, because you're an annoying lolly bitch. The tone of this could not be more different from um, regular Idol Masters. She has a penguin phone! Nah. Uh, penguins are nice. You know, I, I can't fault anyone for being about penguins. Sorry, I was busy being enthusiastic and cute. Ah. Sorry, what? Is that meteorites within the atmosphere? I feel like this is... This is a lot more sci-fi than I was expecting. I guess Xenoglossia did sound kind of sci-fi, but then you said, ah, oh, 
language, but eh, actually, this might actually be a sci-fi thing. Yo, what if this just becomes Simple Gear? What if it does, Neo? What if it does? <laughs> I don't know what that is either, honestly. I'm flying by to see it my pants are. That That's uh, a show I've... T several people have been telling me to watch. It's like... Idols, but also Mecha. Oh, okay. It's it's a it's actually like a musical anime <laughs> with Mecha in it. So you know, sounds up my alley. Oh, so does is there like more of those things? It's basically a thing if you, you get if you pass the audition. Uh, I'm assuming. Maybe it is a draft. Hmm. Maybe idols are soldiers. Maybe. Macross Delta also has an idol who pilots a mecha, actually. Uh -huh. But that's not all of them. It's just that one girl, I think. Okay. Well, you got you got to pander at least one time in anime, you know. Well, pandering is right because there's a very there's a pretty famous clip of Macross Delta with that character singing to herself, and someone mixed it in with uh, September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, and it's very <laughs> popular. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've seen that. <laughs> That's a very... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, it's good that... I, it's best that you didn't try to sing random Japanese syllables, yeah, but... Yeah, well, I, I was going for a rough approximation noise-wise. Yeah. All right, another Haruka. Who would have thought? It's like it's a common name or something. Yeah. You know, you never. I feel like you never see in fiction. Uh huh. Uh, you never just see two characters who just happen to have the same first and last, first or last name. No. Even because, and I get understanding. It can get kind of. It could obviously get confusing, but holy shit! Um, I think we may be in for more than we bargained for, Neo. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fucking hit my friend up. Yo, I'm watching <laughs> some figure already, motherfucker. Nice. But as I was saying, uh, character, you no know, people sharing names. It's it's pretty. That's pretty common in real life. If you have a somewhat normal name, you're bound to meet a few people who have the same first name, and it's weird that it just never happens in fiction. Dude, you're talking to a guy who has one of the most common names in the world. Yeah, you 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 do you know anyone who's also named Tom? Yeah, I, I know a couple of guys on um on Facebook and whatnot who I talk to from time to time. Yeah, so you'd think it'd happen more in in a show. To be honest, I wouldn't mind getting out of bed like that every once in a while. In fact, I think it would help. <laughs> that's the that's a new age alarm clock. Just you no, know, no ringing. It just springs you out the window. All right, back to whatever this is. Okay, why do I feel like One Punch Man is going to be dispatched in a second? <laughs> God, I hope season three was better than season two. Uh, season two wasn't bad, I don't think. <sighs> don't know about that. I, 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 you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it still had the great writing mm -hmm. that, uh, obviously, that one is a great writer, so, uh, it, it still had that going for it, and that was still pretty strong. And there, it, the animation picked up a bit for any, some important moments in the last few, in, in the latter half of the season. No. Yeah. Uh, Mostly, I'm just sad that Garrow versus Watchdog Man did not stretch out for a whole episode. Aw, yeah. Uh, that's my favorite part. Of, that's my favorite page of the manga. I will say the final episode was pretty good. I enjoyed that yeah. a lot. Also, just King and uh, Saitama hanging out was very entertaining. Yeah, that is that is great. Uh, one OPM is just one of those things that I've actually. It's one of the few mangas I've read, because mm -hmm. uh, I, I like it. Uh, the manga's really good. 
I, it didn't really do itself any favours going up alongside the latest season of uh, Mob, which honestly is the better one product, in my opinion. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just the more realized story, I feel. Mm -hmm. And that it's not trying to take the piss out of anything, you know? Mm -hmm. It's, uh, like, OPM is very, you know, started out as a parody, a satire, whereas Mob is very much just trying to tell a a good, funny story. Yeah. I wish to one day be a background character. Not moving. Barely animated. I'm just there. I'd like to be an NPC Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Repeating the same dialogue until the end of time. Yeah. Actually, not an NPC Pokemon trainer. NPC Pokemon Townie. Hmm. I want to be the guy who guides you to the gym. <laughs> Where the fuck do you think you're going? I'm going to walk you all the way over there. Uh, you thought this was a you. motherfucking speed run? Guess again. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to have that kind of road blocking power through sheer force of charisma. Oh, it's Zoid time. <sighs> Hell yeah. It is Macross Delta. <laughs> oh my god. Idol incoming. I should watch Simpho Gear, huh? <laughs> Why do preschoolers in Japan wear hard hats? Um, I think it's so you can see them more visibly on the sidewalks. Hmm. I feel like we've had this conversation before, but that may have been with Volk. Uh, you probably had it with Volk. I don't remember that. I, I think it was that. during uh, Dragon Maid. Hmm. Thunderbirds are go. Jesus. I have some questions for this city's regulatory board. <laughs> yeah. That was a big airburst. And those windows, I guess, are pretty reinf I guess they, they had to make the buildings up the code to stand for that. Ha ha ha, my skirt blew up. Uh, Jesus. That's what you get when you have to commit to an aesthetic, I suppose. This is why you should just wear jeans. Modesty shorts. You're an idol. Think it through. Okay, so why was that thing dispatched? Uh, maybe it's going to go destroy a meteor. It's going to destroy a, a, an entire planet of dark idols. Oh, she's Shahaya? Is this like a thing where, like... The characters all share names between, like, alternate universes? There's probably a thing like that, yeah. Probably. I guess Xenoglossia Chahaya is, like, a fun mm. ultra rare you can get in the gacha. Oh, here we go. Xenoglossia centers around Mecha and reimagines the ten prospective idols from Idolmaster as fighter pilots of those robots, with eight of them uh. also posing as students. It's a good job I didn't read that. Well, there you go. Symphagear also has a blue hair idol who's very popular. Hmm. Might as well throw them all in the bin, they're so good. Oh no, his glasses did the Gendo thing. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Eight 
people saw my underwear. <laughs> all eight. That's all of them. It's... All they could afford to animate. <laughs> it's all ruined. It's all over. You're laughing. Eight people saw my underwear. You're, <laughs> You're laughing. laughing. <laughs> uh, whenever the mechs are on screen, the audience should be asking, where's the mechs? Just went off into space to do whatever. It's too bad the streets are abandoned. Yeah. Do we accidentally wander into that place from One Punch Man where all the monsters live? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is... Maybe this is more like Evangelion than I thought. <laughs> oh my god. Being an idol on, like, off-season is really hard work. <laughs> Lemon water. I wanted to say hello to the penguin, mummy. <laughs> who doesn't want to be greeted by their friend in a penguin suit? An idiot. That's who. This is a traditional greeting for anyone you value dearly. Soba's pretty good. I've never had soba noodles. They're fun. They're nice. They're delicious. I, I don't know why I describe everything I like as fun. <laughs> well, you value the small things in life. Like, like that tends to be like my default positive descriptor is fun. Makes sense. Even for like for food. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go. Like, I could win the lottery one day and someone, hey, how do you feel about having, having like, a several hundred million dollars now? Ah, that's pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Damn! It is destroying a meteor. There you go. What a juxtaposition. Crazy space battles destroying asteroids to just walking along and smelling the ocean. Sci-fi shows always have really misguided ideas of how we should be dealing with meteors. Hmm, yeah. Like, yeah, just blow it up. Yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah. Really? Oh, look, so pretty. Shooting stars. They're all going to fall on civilian populace. Oh, if only. I'm gonna, like, re-upload this to a torrenting site. I'm just gonna add, like, the screen shaking every time one of these falls. <laughs> and change nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of reminds me I was watching Oni plays once and they love the Iron Giant so they suggested that Oni animate a scene of just Hogarth picking the wings off a fly and put it into the movie and then like put it on the pirate bay and see if anyone noticed <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are always fun I mean the best prank anyone's ever actually pulled with that is uh the torrent of Spider-Man, where every time he shoots out a web, uh, there's a subtle fart sound. <laughs> uh, I profess to be above that, but apparently I'm not. And it gets... The best part is it, it starts out really subtle, but gets a little louder every time it happens. <laughs> so, well, by the end of the movie, it's like... Pfft. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it takes, like, until, like, you're two-thirds of the way through the movie before you start to realize... <laughs> That's, that's that's brilliant though. I know a word to describe it really. Also, yeah, it seems Haruka has activated a rogue mech. Oh boy. Hello, it's me. Can't believe it's really fortuitous that we're watching this along with Big O. Yeah. We seem to be twins. We seem to be twins indeed. So this is what happened to Masato after <laughs> <laughs> after end of Ava. She 
She didn't become part of the human collective. She got transported to another anime. You're lucky this is pop culture enough for me to understand what you're talking about. <laughs> We'll probably be commissioned oh, to uh, do Evangelion someday, but not this day. <laughs> it's been probably a little late for this, but I guess apologies to anyone listening along to this com who has not <laughs> didn't want to be spoiled <laughs> on it of Evangelion. But <laughs> you had a few decades. It's okay. I'm coming, pilot. Got I women. really do feel like a regular knife would do. Yeah, we got women fighting, we got mechs fighting. Really, it's everything you want in an anime. Uh oh. Slam dunking you into this <laughs> mech. Uh. This is a good approach to getting the fucking mech. Yep. <laughs> See, if they See, did it, if they did this to Shinji, that wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah, man, yeah, just fucking, like, Misato just, like, gets Shinji. Hey, all right, getting the fucking mech kit jumps off the roof with him. Uh, protocol 1, link to pilot. Protocol 2, uphold the mission. Protocol 3, protect the pilot. I've gone back to Titanfall 2 recently. I'm gonna finish that motherfucker. Ooh. I've heard that game's fun. What is it about being in front of Max that makes me fall slower? Um, I think everything is falling slower right now. Well, are there more of these fuckers? Oh no, my jammies. Your ability to pilot this mech is determined by your popularity among Seidel fans. Oh, there's currently zero. <laughs> His glasses are still doing the Gendo thing. Mm-hmm. That's me when I don't get to be in a mech. <laughs> oh, they're, they're throwing a lot of things at me here. I don't quite yeah. understand what's going on, but... Uh, this was not That's... what I was expecting when we started this. That was wonderful. Yeah, that was kind of entertaining, actually. Just spinning naked in the Gosh, ED. My God. So many Ava, so much Ava. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A naked fetal position? Yep. Come on. That's me after every commentary, really. Did they do a good <laughs> enough job? Why do you take your clothes off to do it? I don't know. It just feels right. I wish the mech was here spinning in a fetal position as well. Yeah. I wish the old guy with the glasses was here. <laughs> Wearing nothing but his little bow and whatnot. <laughs> so my best guess is it's like a key or something. Or it could just yeah, be an emergency sticker pocky for all I know, do you? <laughs> Maybe it's a flashlight. Maybe. Um, close. I saw a yeah. frame of Penguin Girl, and that was about it. 
So, um, Jesus, wasn't expecting that. Um, that was good. I like. Was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. That was very. I, 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 now that just reminded me that I need to watch Sim Figure. Mm, yeah, very much so. Uh, so yeah, that was good for Idol Master. Good for the Zeno Glossier. And now we have the Idol Master Live for You OVA, which is only seventeen minutes long, but hey, it's in there anyway. So if you're ready, mate, shall we finish off this batch? Let's do it. Here we go in three, two, one. All right, I have no idea what to expect here. Is it just the Idol Master cast? It seems like it is. Yeah. Yep. Snazzy sneakers. It's them. Is this also done by Sunrise? Uh, I don't know. I'll start. asking me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I was just there. Uh... You know what? I don't have to justify rhetorical questions, all right? No, I actually uh, intend to go the other way, and then I started walking the wrong way. No, I have to, <laughs> I'm too much of a coward to turn around and just go the proper way. <laughs> Oh, listen, we're not your therapist. Mm. Well, there is a game called The Idol Master Live or Live for You. Uh, it's a live simulation game, and it is for the 360. It is a sequel to The Idol Master. It's for the 360? Yeah. Like, exclusively? Uh, seems that way. How odd. Y you rarely see Japanese games exclusive to the 360. No. Yeah, I'm looking for details on who animated it, and I can't seem to find it. It's definitely not by A1. Oh, you silly bits. I mean, you know what? A1 animes, <sighs> they're probably, no, they're pretty rare. Yeah. They mostly do steak sauce. <laughs> Funny. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm the first person to ever make that joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Girls should be in bed. It's laid out. Well, idols work when they're needed, not when uh, society dictates they should go to bed. You know? Society dictates that I go to bed at uh, earlier than I do. Yeah. Was that a Valkyria Chronicles character? That's design seemed kind of similar. Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Although, now that you say that, I do kind of want an idol show that's actually set in an anachronistic World War II-esque setting. Hmm. Could be cool. <laughs> Stopping the invasion of France. <laughs> oh music. my god. Oh, here are antics. Even the music knows this is antics. Might as well just have a uh, clown dancing in the background at this row. The classic onsen scene. Then I quickly Google their ages. That's a no, good buddy. Uh, should I? Some knowledge forbidden? <laughs> no, just no. Some things best left not known. You can assume the best. Oh, it's the chick who just fell into a mech in another universe. Yeah. Maybe she's dreaming about that. It's like, oh, I was having a kick-ass dream. That would actually be a pretty cool way of like making spin-off shows and whatnot. <laughs> That's one with a really overactive imagination.
Are we dealing with ghosts? Is this a Scooby Doo episode? Yeah. Oh my god, did we, like, shack up with Yakuza? Oh. Wow. Okay, yeah, it's definitely Scooby-Doo. Maybe they're the fans. <laughs> 12 hours until our exclusive fan appreciation event. <laughs> Such a fan, I took her phone. Today, on the Fan Appreciation Day, this is awful. Yes. This is the worst thing to happen to anyone today. <laughs> While there's a man tied up in that room. <laughs> yeah, let's just completely forget about him, because I'm sure the plot will. Tell them about the kidnappers. Okay, cool. I feel like they were just going to ignore that entirely. Oh, good for you. <laughs> nice. Ooh, they're gonna hitch. Nice. Hobo style. Wherever he's gonna go, there's gonna be civilization somewhere, and where there's civilization, there's usually a police station. So. Oh no, we ended up in insert backwater state in America here. <laughs> I'm not knowledgeable That'd enough. That'd be a to hell of a journey to I'm make not, on truck. I'm not knowledgeable enough to make like proper satire, biting and whatnot here. <laughs> I mean, backwater America. I don't know. That'd be a tall order. Yeah. There's plenty of choices. There are a lot of choices. Bitch, you need to get up and walk. I'm not a taxi. Well, we're on the freeway. So well, let's bit. just swim across the ocean. We'll hit something eventually. Maybe Hawaii. Yeah. So we're on the M25 somehow. If we swim until we reach Hawaii, yeah. then Hawaii will help us. Just swim and the robbers will never catch us. This must be stuff that's coming in the Idol Master, because I don't know what they're talking about. Mm. Oh. That's a normal thing to do to your friends. Exactly. This is all prank. Yeah, I regularly drug my friends, it's fine. I just wanted you in the middle of a freeway. <laughs> this is a really empty highway, if you think about it. Not, not like a single car has gone by. Not a busy route, I guess. Ah. Start walking, and you'll make some progress. The robbers could be after you right now, and you'll never know. Think it so ahead. I guess she just thought the truck driver was going off script and improvising. Basically. You think she'd have recognized that he wasn't the truck driver they hired? <laughs> well, yeah, convenient for the plot, I guess. Such as it is, that is a Namco character. Ooh. In fact, all those 
keychain things were characters. I'm pretty sure one of them was uh, a taunt in Pac-Man's thing in Smash. Oh, interesting. Bitch, we are stranded here. It is not time for a meet and greet. I have some pleasant trees. Just run out of phone battery. It's gonna, it's gonna happen, you watch. Oh, you silly bins. Look at you. Well, there's a road. There's uh, lamps. Mountains. There's water. Yeah. <laughs> Satellite. Hmm. <laughs> the endless reach of space. I've got very good eyesight. The train is late. Farewell. Oh no, an hour and 15, 50 minutes of pure walking. If only they'd included that in the actual run time, so it was real. We're jogging. No, no, no bus would actually pick you up on the no, freeway. No, no. Um, yeah, they're not that nice. Please, please open up. Oh, bless you. These are uncharacteristically nice bus drivers. Well, maybe that's just how it is in Japan, Neo. I refuse to believe that all bus drivers are scum. <laughs> Abdus. Oh no. The prophecy. Well, you went wrong when you got on that truck. Mm hmm. That's not really a, a question you have to ask. You have to do it for the fans. <sighs> the fans are all our self-worth. I was like that once, and then I was like, wait a minute, they're happy whenever I upload. Why am I putting in effort that's not needed here? Now, you can read that how you want. I meant it in a positive manner. Well, we're idols, that's basically what we do. I mean, I understand, yeah, it's sad, I would like to sing with them, but also, I, I, I don't want to die in the yeah. middle of a field. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, they sent a helicopter after us. Nice! That's irresponsible financially. Who would just spare a helicopter like that? Me? If I had the money, honestly. Yeah. Drop you in. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna wow. have to, like, skydive into the arena wearing your costumes. I swear to God, these bougie fucks. <laughs> <laughs> they That's get helicopters to just drop them off if they're late. If I'm late, I just have to fucking eat it. Yeah. I'm just going to say none of my friends have ever sent a helicopter to get me somewhere on time. 
Well, maybe if more people pledge to the Patreon, I'll be able to grant you that dream of yours, Neo. I'll hold you to that. I'm serious. Like, <laughs> well, this is on voice recording. Well, luckily, I'll never be able to fulfill that, so... You've made the verbal contract. No, it's not a contract, it's a statement. I'm, I'm looking up helicopter prices the moment <laughs> we reach that level. <laughs> So everything turned out fine. It was just a wacky series of hijinks, really. Yes. And now we cut to the mechs and whatnot. Yeah. I was going to say, are we not ending with a song or something? So they're live for me? Or do they live for you? It's kind of hard to tell when it's just in writing. Here's what you just watched. I get it, it's an OVA on a DVD. It's not meant to be as crazy as everything else. Taking a long time for them to show us one character. Well, they're drawing it in real time, that's why. <laughs> Just reminds me of that thing. Um, cartoons used to go out live on the air when it was a terrible strain on the animator's wrist. <laughs> That's catchy enough, I guess. You don't get scrolling character images. No. You get group shots. You did not pass the minimum requirement screen time. And so, everything was fine. They couldn't postpone it to another day. It had to happen today, or never. Such is the life of an idol, I suppose. Yeah. No preview thing, because again, it is an OVA. And there we go. That was Idolmaster Live or Live for You. Um, I don't really have much to say about that one, because it was just a continuation of a show we only watched one episode of, and it was kind of shallow at that. Yeah, it mostly just seemed like a little... It, it, it seems exactly like a DVD extra. Yeah, basically. So, yeah, guys, that was a little taste of... Three different sides, or I guess like two, because Live For You was part of Idolmaster, of Idolmaster as a anime franchise. Did you have fun, Neo? That was fun. That was surprisingly fun. Yeah, I expected it to be more like uh, Love Live, but even Idolmaster itself wasn't. And Xenoglossia, I'm kind of glad I didn't accidentally read that thing, because... Um, that was a nice surprise, for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, if you guys want your own TV comms, hit up patreon.com forward slash hellfirecoms, check out the tier lists and whatnot, and uh, every penny helps to support the group. It's our primary method of staying around these days, so please consider it. And uh, we're working through the backlog as quick as possible, so please be patient and you'll get yours eventually. I could have said that in a less threatening way, but here we are. We'll see you next time for another round of Patreon TV comms. Bye-bye.